I'm Ben Majassian. And I'm Irina Azman. Here is our amazing principal with Greer's Greetings. Good morning, Saxons. Miss Greer here with another Greer's Greetings. Today, we're joined by Director of Student Services, Mr. Peterson, who's going to be speaking with us regarding the registration process. Saxons, let's remember to care, connect, celebrate so we can commence. Hail Saxons. Now over to Mr. Peterson. Happy New Year, Saxons. This is Braden Peterson, Director of Student Services here at Langley, wishing you a very happy New Year and I hope a great end to the second quarter. By the time you're watching this video, my hope is that you've met with your counselors uh, by grade level to discuss some of the academic advising information coming, that you've received an email from me with a whole host of links and information that will be important as you navigate the decisions uh, as you begin preparing for next school year. It's always uh, fascinating to me how early we begin and this year is no different with the many things going on. So I hope that you'll take the time to review that email, review the information, to ask questions uh, earlier this week as you had opportunity at a town hall with your counselors uh, so that we go into this uh, academic advising season thinking beyond. And uh, that's really what this is all about, is saying how are we preparing ourselves for, for life after uh, high school, life beyond this year, and as we look to next year with a glimmer of hope that things would be more back to normal than they have been this year. Uh, we're excited to meet with you. Each counselor will be connecting with you one-on-one -on -one through your English class if you're a junior, if you are a freshman, sophomore through your PE courses. If you are not in a PE course, then we will find a way to connect with you because we want to have a conversation as we begin preparing for the next year. So again, please take the time to review that information. It's really important that we make informed decisions as we begin planning for the next uh, months and years ahead, and we look forward to partnering with you toward your success. Thanks for the, the opportunity to connect with you today, and Happy New Year. Go Saxons! Thank you, Ms. Greer and Mr. Peterson. Have you found yourself running out of productive stuff to do that's also COVID safe? Here is a segment with some creative ideas for staying safe. Welcome back from break. I know you miss seeing this pretty face on your screen. I know we're all feeling a little bit lazy because we're back in school, a little bit drained, a little bit bored, but trust me, in your free time, there's some new things you can try, possibly. So that's what this segment is. For me personally, I have taken up cooking and baking to make something good like brownies, nice and sweet, delicious, or something a little healthier with some protein, chicken. Beautiful chicken. There's plenty of recipes online, short, long, simple, complicated, whatever you wanna challenge yourself with, or if you just wanna get started, trust me, cooking and baking is the way. I do it myself and I greatly benefit from it. Now here's Arena with another thing you can try. All right, so before we get- So right now what I'm saying is that the music is copyrighted, so I'm gonna have to narrate over a soul. I have to the downstairs area of my apartment. So this is the gym that we're gonna be doing. We're gonna start off by doing one mile on the treadmill. We're gonna turn switch to some workouts, other workouts, and some workouts, quicknesses, and some body workouts. There's a couple good gyms to go to that follow lateral quickness rules like the same gym. I'm also speaking about some of the gyms I've been to during Spring Hill Rec Center is actually COVID. That the same gyms that actually is really good for safety. That's the same gyms and there's Spring Hill Recreation Center. The same gyms as Arena regularly. There has indoor football court, indoor hockey, football field, two hockey court, three levels of swimming pool, and then and they host tournaments and stuff like that. Spring Hill Recreation Center. They clean also, it, regular the recreation center like every 30 minute minutes. Every 30 minutes, you have to get out the gym and clean they it. They, keep they go in and clean the facility. So, of yep, let's get right into the.
came back from the gym, finished out the workout, came here to you guys some other things you could do. You could read a book that can keep you very safe. It doesn't have to be that book, but that one's a pretty good book. Um, just trying to stay safe. Don't go out too much. If you do, wear a mask. And that's all for my segment. I'm definitely going to try some of those out. How was your winter break? Pretty uneventful. Let's hear from some people who have fun stories from their break. Hey Saxons, my name is Jack and I'd like to welcome you back to school. Our group decided to sit down with some students from Langley and ask them what they've been up to over the break. Hey everyone, I'm here with Rika and he's a freshman at Langley. Hey everyone. So Rika, what was your favorite thing that you did over the break? Well, my favorite thing I did over winter break was probably I had a back-to-back -back sleepover with my friends. That sounds like a lot of fun. Thanks, Rika. Now on to Sammy. Hi, everyone. My name is Samantha Kenny. I'm a junior here at Langley, and today I'll be interviewing Hannah, who is a sophomore here. So, Hannah, what is the most memorable moment over this winter break? Um, the most memorable moment for me was probably my oldest sister's 21st birthday, because we went to a brewery and we rented out the patio and we got to do a tour so that was fun oh wow and how, how did your sister enjoy it um she was very happy because it was difficult to find something to do during quarantine to celebrate her birthday and she was quite impressed that we managed to pull it off well i'm glad that worked out so well for you and thank you for being part of our interview today So our next guest was not easy to get. Please give a warm welcome to <laughs> April. April, how are you? Hi. That's great. So uh, you've had many winter breaks. What was the most memorable? Um, definitely this one. What? Mostly because it's like mostly because of Corona. And even though there was Corona, I still had a lot of fun with my friends and my family. It's just a great time. How about in years past? Was there anything like fun, exciting? Um, last year I went to Paris for winter break. So that was definitely fun too. That's great. You know, Paris is great. I love it. Anyway, anything else? Um, two years ago, I think three years ago, I went skiing with one of my best friends. I love that. That was also really fun. That's great. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. That's cool. That's all I have. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you for being a good sport, April. Hey guys, I'm Izzy and I'm here with Daniela. She's a senior at Langley. Hi. So Daniela, um, what were some things that you did over winter break or some funny stories? So I've been in Florida for the past month over winter break and I'm still here. Um, so I've just been going to the pool, going to the beach. So that's really it. Thank you all for watching and hope you all enjoyed your break. Have a great 2021. <laughs> That's all for today. Have a great day, Saxons. Stay safe. We miss you.